If you're working at all with fiber in your data center, it's not unusual to find a lot of different fiber connections across the many different kinds of networking components that you'll use. One very old but still commonly used type of fiber connection is the ST connector. That stands for straight tip. And it's a bayonet connector, which means when you push it in and you turn it, it has a lock on the end of it. So you can't simply pull out that bayonet connector. It's going to stay in there every time. And we'll commonly see these used whenever you've got some older equipment, especially when you've got equipment that's coming from a service provider that needs a type of connection that won't pull out whenever you plug it in. One problem with this is these take up quite a bit of room. And relative to some of the newer fiber connection types, these can be a little bit unwieldy when you have a large quantity of fiber connections that you need to plug in. A newer type of fiber connector is one called the SC connector. This stands for subscriber connector. It can also stand for standard connector. Some people call it the square connector. And as you can tell by the picture, they are square connectors. They plug right into a connection. And they have somewhat of a lock on there. It's not as good as a bayonet. You can still accidentally pull them out if somebody was to step on a fiber. So you want to be careful about using these. But these are commonly used with these connectors that stick them together into pairs. When you're using fiber, you're usually using one strand of fiber for transmit and one strand of fiber for receive. So it's common to use them in pairs. And we'll color them with different colors to signify which side we want to use for send and which side we want to use for receive. And with the SC connectors, there's a little bracket that you can get that connect them together so that you don't mix up which side goes to which side. If you don't have that connector there, it's sometimes hard to figure out because this will only plug in one way because there's a little notch that's right in the top of that connector. And you can only plug them into the connector in one particular method. The connector that's on your network e equipment have a slot on one side just for that particular notch. So it's nice to have that there. But again, that's taking up a lot of real estate on these devices. But it is a very easy type of fiber connection to use. As our technology allowed us to shrink down the size of these connections from our fiber, we have a new type of connection called the LC connector. This is a Lucent connector, a local connector. Some people might call it the little connector. And indeed, it is much smaller than the ST or the SC connectors that we were looking at earlier. And they're usually packaged like this in these pairs. So it makes it very easy to plug in both the transmit and receive fiber all with one connection. And you can see there's little locks right here on top of the connector that lock right into your networking equipment. And then you would push it down to release it, have it have it come back out again. But notice how small that is compared to the other connectors we were using. Now we can fit a larger density of fiber into the same amount of space, which makes a lot of sense when you have a lot of fiber connections within a single data center. One of the smallest types of connections that you'll find with fiber is an MTRJ. And that is, stands for Mechanical Transfer Register Jack or even media termination recommended jack. You'll see that written a couple of different ways. But what we were really trying to do was make this about the same size as an RJ45 connection you might use for Ethernet. So whether you're plugging in a fiber connection or a copper connection, the idea is that we'd be using exactly the same amount of real estate on a piece of networking infrastructure so that your switch would use fiber or copper and not have to use any more space than it already was. To do that, inside of these MTRJ connectors are both fiber connections. So both your transmit and your receive are combined within that same jack, so that very, very tiny little space. And that allows you to simply plug in that one connection. And coming out of that are the pairs of fibers all in that single tiny connection. In your data center, you'll probably have a lot of different types of connections. You'll probably have some MTRJ. There'll be some pieces of equipment with SC connectors, other pieces with LC connectors. And there may be even other fiber connection types that you may use in your data center. Regardless of the type of connections, you'll still be able to use every advantage that fiber brings and be able to connect all of your devices together.